drug used in bronchial asthma. Classification of drug Number 1. Bronchodilator Number 2. Leukotriene pathway inhibitor Number 3. Mast cell stabilizers Number 4. Corticosteroid and number 5 anti-immunoglobulin E antibody. Now bronchodilator which includes beta agonist, selective beta 2 agonist and non-selective beta 1 plus beta 2 agonist. Selective beta 2 agonist which includes short acting drugs duration 4 to 6 hours, salbutamol, tarbutalin and bambuterol. Long acting drugs which include Duration of action is 12 hours or more, salmeterol, formeterol, phenoterol, and remeterol. Non-selective agonists which include adrenaline, ephedrine, and isoprenaline. Methyl xanthine, which include theophylline, aminophylline, and doxophylline. Anticholinergies which include ipratropium bromide, triatropium bromide and oxytropium. Now leukotriene pathway inhibitors which include Montelukast, Jaffilukast and Jaliton. Mast cell stabilizers which include sodium chromoglycate and ketotifan. Now corticosteroids, systemic corticosteroids, hydrocortisone, prednisolone, inhalational corticosteroid, baclomethasone, butisonide, and fluticasone. Anti-immunoglobulin E antibody, omalizumab. Now. What is the rational approach for asthma? Now we will discuss about the rational approach for asthma. Number one, use of bronchodilator, use of drug which prevents release of mediator from mast cell, use of drug which removes inflammatory state of the bronchial tree, and other non drug measures must also be taken. And that's all.